Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do one-way ANOVA in Excel in Mac 2011 version. So, um, as you may already know, that there you can do ANOVA in Excel, but you need to install a, a toolkit called the Analysis Toolkit. But how, um, in the Mac 2011 version, however, this toolkit is not available. So usually when you click on Excel and you hit on tools and uh, when you click add-ins and you will see a to uh, analysis toolkit here but unfortunately in this 2011 Mac version there's not such options so today I'm going to show you how to solve these problems and uh, how to deal with it so hopefully in the next one minute or two minutes or so we are able to easily painlessly do ANOVA quickly so this is the support page of the Microsoft here I just show you if you are Excel for Mac 2011 there's not a data analysis toolkit available and you need to install a third party tool so um, here they gave you a link and uh, if I just click the link I, I will be directed to um, this page and you can just simply hit free download and after the download you just need to install the toolkit and here I'm just going to show you what will what you look like so after you install it you have your Excel and you also have your this toolkit called stat plus on your uh, function bar so um, what you need to do right now is you just need to hit on the Excel and Excel um, this app and then you go to the to, to go to your bar and hit stat plus so your this functional bar will actually become stat plus so at this point what you need to do is really just hit statistics and you choose ANOVA and choose one way ANOVA and uh, a window will pop up so now you can use you can choose different columns which that means that will account for every number in that column um, the other way is you can select the data range it's really similar in what you usually do in Excel so I hit the select data range for example I select the A group here and then I just go back to the stat plus quickly and I hit I put my pointer here and I hit another I select another data set and let's go back so uh, sorry and we can see that in your variables there's actually two data sets available separated by a semicolon so now I just hit OK so one of your data will pop up so you can actually see the p-value here is it's not significant and uh, okay I just close this and I can show you another quick example so in Excel I hit Excel and I hit the stat plus again and uh, I choose statistics and the one way ANOVA okay this time I do just select by column just to show you uh, for example I select the A group which is column D and I hit this Er the arrow here the column D will become to um, the, the selected the selected destination and now I put a pointer here again and for example I select the C group which is column H and I hit this 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 er arrow again and the two data is separated by the semicolon no now I just hit OK give you some error message and you just hit open you don't need to save it and you'll see that all the statistics came out and in this case the tool group is um, significantly different okay I I hope you I hope you find this video helpful and uh, I hope everybody can uh, solve this issue um, quickly